Fans of Sex and the City have had to readjust their expectations for the sequel series, and just like that, which has introduced a number of new elements, including the disappearance of a number of fan-favorite characters. Although some deaths have come as a complete surprise, the death of Charlotte's much-loved King Charles Spaniel from the first season, Elizabeth Taylor Goldenblatt, was one that was quite predictable. And just like that began 17 years after the events of Sex and the City Season 6, which was beyond the average lifespan of her breed. As a result, a scene in Season 2, Episode 9 titled There Goes the Neighborhood, demonstrated that she has passed away, but has not been forgotten. However, just like that when the show first aired in December 2021, the first season featured Charlotte's new pet, an English bulldog by the name of Richard Burton. Since then, a lot of admirers have been devastated after learning that Elizabeth Taylor has passed away. They have now been provided with the resolution they require, thanks to the Season 2 Episode 9 moment in and just like that. In the episode, Charlotte and Harry host a campaign event in their apartment. During the event, Carrie speaks with Anthony and then finds herself making small talk with his love interest, Giuseppe, in front of the Goldenblitz oil paintings of the two beloved dogs. Charlotte and Harry are running for office. Giuseppe first asks, she has oil paintings of her dogs, before continuing by asking, and the dogs are named Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. I was becoming scared that you and I wouldn't have much in common to chat about. Max fans expressed their appreciation for the moment. One user posted a thread on Reddit devoted entirely to the Elizabeth Taylor image, and referred to it as everything. Elizabeth Taylor was a key side character in Sex and the City, and she is missed. It was written. Elizabeth brought Charlotte back from a bad place, triggered her insecurities about fertility, and provided the very clever writers endless jokes. They said as they went on to discuss the dog's unique role in assisting Charlotte, in coping with the challenges she faced, related to her inability to conceive a child. On Reddit, Further admirers shared that they too cherished the memorial in their own posts. One person's written response stated, didn't even pay attention to what Carrie and Anthony were saying. I was mesmerized by the portraits. Another viewer of and just like that chimed in, saying, it made me so happy that they included these portraits. It's a pretty wonderful touch, isn't it? Even though Elizabeth Taylor did not make her debut until the later stages of Sex and the City's original run, the audience's reactions demonstrated that she was still able to leave her impact on the program. Charlotte first encountered Elizabeth Taylor in the sixth season, episode 16 titled, Out of the Frying Pan, when she learned that the show dog was unable to compete in dog competitions after meeting her. Charlotte, who had experienced similar challenges with conceiving a child, could empathize to the woman and ultimately decided to take her in. After some time had passed, she was forced to confront her emotions when Elizabeth Taylor announced that she was expecting a litter of pups, following an eventful trip to the park. The costume designers for, and just like that it hinted prior to the debut of season 2, that they would be paying tribute to Elizabeth Taylor with a picture that was uniquely hers. In November 2022, the band's official Instagram account shared a snapshot of the painting with the comment, on Charlotte's hallway wall number Big Eyes number Elizabeth Taylor, Davis indicated that she was pleased with the post by adding, My first baby beside three emoji, depicting a happy face with heart-shaped eyes. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment section that follows. If you find that the video is interesting to you, you could consider subscribing to the channel so that you can view other breakdowns. We are grateful for both your time and concern in this matter.